Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young, old, it doesn't matter. They think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today, case in point, uh, instead of celebrating the music of the 21st century, we've been doing this tournament, Worst Song of the 80s. We started with 64 songs, and now we're down to the final two. So the, uh, some things to keep in mind. One, this has just been for fun. You know, some people enjoy this, some people don't. I, You know, if you like these songs, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that at all. In fact, you don't have to defend what you like. Uh, a friend of mine who was a high school teacher had said, you don't have to, de to defend what you like. But if you don't like something, you should explain it away. That seems fair to me. And uh, yeah, so anyway, it's also just my opinion. And normally I play the songs, but I've told you guys I'll be real honest and transparent with you. This is round six. So I've heard these songs by Richard Simmons and Joe Dolce five times already. And I had not heard either one of these songs before starting this tournament. These were both brand new listens to me. I had heard the vast majority of songs in the tournament, but never heard these two. And Richard Simmons, I like. I like Richard Simmons. He's fun. And, you know, I think he's a great personality, and I always enjoyed seeing him on TV. Uh, but not a great singer. Okay, so this time is a self-affirmation song about you can... You can love the hurt away. Yeah, and it's got the synthesizers and strings and cymbal rolls and piano. And yeah, I just don't care for the song. And then we're pitting this up against Joe Dolce, Shut Up Your Face, which is a novelty song by an Australian-Italian singer. It hit real big in England and Europe, but it didn't chart in America. And that's probably one reason I'd never heard it before. And it's got accordion, and it's performed, I think, in front of a live audience, although the hand claps sound like they're uh, inserted in, like it's uh, stock hand clapping. Uh, yeah, kind of in a, you know, kind of a heavy Italian accent, and I don't know, maybe it's fun, but I don't enjoy it. And normally I would play these songs, but I already know which one I'm going to pick. And so I don't want to sit here and just pretend. So if you want to hear these songs, they're, they're in the other five rounds. We've got, we've got uh, a bunch of videos in this tournament. So which one's it going to be? The winner of the tournament is... Richard Simmons, this time. I'm sorry, Richard. I'm really sorry. You just weren't born to be a singer. And the arrangement and the instrumentation is very lame. And I've described this as, as if Stuart Smalley from Saturday Night Live was serious and wasn't joking. Um, yeah, just these self-affirmation lyrics are, you know, maybe they've helped some people. And if so... Yeah, I'm sorry to make fun of it. Yeah, this is the winner. Never heard the song before. Richard Simmons. So, yeah, I mean, I, I you know, some of you probably say, well, why didn't you play the songs? Um, because I don't like I don't like to pretend. I don't like to sit here and pretend like I'm mulling it over. And, you know, I just I just knew. Um, before hitting record here, that my mind was made up. Um, the Richard Simmons is a song that's supposed to be taken seriously. The Joe Dolce is not supposed to be taken seriously. It's just a fun novelty song. Kind of annoying, kind of irritating. But, you know, a comedy song, basically, and a sing-along. So that's it. Um... We're done with the tournament now, and I'll be starting a, a new series in July that I'll announce on a video short. That's it, guys.
thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you agree with my decision. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. And if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. Take care.